you guys have been following us on Facebook, then you know what this is. Yeah. Let's give it up for Mom TV season three. At kung nagtatakayo kung bakit para magisa lang ako dito dahil si Samuel G, ang aking partner, ay umuwi sa kanyang motherland of India. Pero hayaan nyo, ayaw naman niya akong iwanan by my lonesome. So, we put our heads together to find two cool people who could help us out with the show. Wanna meet them? Here they are. Hey, guys! Hi! Hey, Diane! Wala ba kayo mga kamay? Hello! Diba, meet it! Ah, uh, medyo pasensya nyo na yung studio audience natin kasi medyo slow ang pick-up na mga. <laughs> anyway, I think introductions are in order, so ladies first. Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl Jocelyn Oxley from the Kitty Girls, and one thing you didn't know about me is I am a secret gamer. Major old school, I like Mario, Sonic, those kind of games, but you know, once a gamer, always a gamer. Oh yes, and we know gamers very well. At ito namang isang tunay di umiimik na semi-kalbo, I see. Eh, ba't naman ang iimik? I have <laughs> Jackson Oxlade on my right. Diane Cezon on my left. Life is good. Well, looks like Sam found a good replacement. <laughs> Maniac din. May gamer bang hindi, right? Anyway, in case you were wondering, my name is Erin Neiman. I am a part-time model. I am a DJ and a die-hard gamer. Welcome to Mob TV, guys, and thank you so much for helping us with the show. I think we better move on to the good stuff. Mob TV, game, game on! always wanted to own your own online gaming company, well here's your chance, sort of. IPE Games Ventures got itself officially listed on the Philippine Stock Exchange last February 17. The usually formal trading floor of the PSC in Makati was roused by an assortment of celebrities, cosplay models, and of course dignitaries from the PSC and IPE Games Ventures to formally announce a public offering. Here to tell us more about it is our very own Diane Season, who caught up with some of the big wigs from eGames. Hi guys, I'm here at the Philippine Stock Exchange. Why? Because eGames just went public. Bakit So let's ask COO of eGames, Mr. Enrique Ishanko Gonzalez. Hi, how are you? Hello, Enrique. So, why all of a sudden did eGames decide to go public? We went public because there's a lot of investor interest regarding eGames because we're the number one online gaming company in the Philippines. Wow. And uh, for a company, it's very uh, prestigious for us to be listed on the Philippine Stock Exchange. It puts us right beside some of the best companies in the country and it allows us to access more capital, more investors. And uh, of course, more money means we launch more games for our gamers. So we want people to think of TV and online games. And events? And events. <laughs> okay, in game. You. Thank you, Mr. Nike. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm still here at the Philippine Stock Exchange, and guess who we bumped into? Mr. Hill Edessa of eGames. Hello, Hill. Hi there. Hi, so napaka exciting ngayon, no? Kakapasok nila sa Stock Exchange. Paano yes, ba nangyari yun? Uh, well, we decided that uh, eGames is ready for the next step. Uh, to list in the Philippine Stock Exchange, which is the first for any game company in the country. Wow, talagang galing talaga ng e-games, ha? Siyempre, <laughs> sakto <Pioneer. laughs> Okay, thank you, Mr. Hill. Thank, thank you. Nice to see you again. Looking forward to more stuff from e-games. Thank you, thank you. So if you got a few hundred thousand to spare and you want to get back at those people who abused you online, here's a good option. Buy controlling interest and vengeance will be yours. Now, I'm more of a console gamer, so I'm pretty much a noob when it comes to online games. Right? But, you know, for my first assignment, my producers asked me to check out one of the biggest online meets down south. I'm talking about Road to Domination 4. That's over, of course, at Cebu and Davao. Nagkakagulo na naman ang local gaming communities dahil nagsimula na ang preparations para sa isa sa mga pinakamalaking gaming event ng taon. Road to Domination 4 ang prequel para sa 4th year anniversary ng eGames. Ang pinagkakaguluhan ngayon ng mga eGamers mula Ilocos hanggang Zamboanga. 
eh bakit naman hindi? Kasi naman, this is where players get the chance to face off against the best the region has to offer at ang mga mananalo ay pupunta sa Manila for the Grand Championships during Domination 4. Kaya naman nagpunta ang e-game sa Davao last January 23 at sa Cebu naman noong February 27 to spread the Domination fever and to determine Visayas and Mindanao's finest e-gamers. And we're not kidding when we say e-gamers take these tournaments seriously. Talaga namang in full force ang dating ng mga participants from different parts of Visayas and Mindanao. Many of them even had to travel for hours just to meet their guildmates. Pero di lang in-game tournaments ang pinagkakaabalahan ng mga fans ng e-games. There were also raffles and mini activities for everyone to enjoy, not to mention the whole freaking boatload of merchandise, in-game items, and other freebies that were given away. Para sa inyong mga di nakasama, ang dami ninyong na-miss. Pero ox lang yun, dahil balita ko ongoing pa rin ang mga tournaments sa selected cafes around the country. Isa pa, patikim pa lang naman ito for the main event. Kaya kung na-miss mo ang Road to Domination 4 parties, Siguraduhin mong hindi ka mawawala sa Domination 4 dahil kung hindi, isang taon na naman ang hihintayin mo para sa susunod na Domination at isang taon na rin aasa rin ng mga kabarkada for missing one of the year's biggest online gaming meets and parties. I also heard from some of my sources that there will be a final leg to Road to Domination right here in Metro Manila. Kaya abangan nyo yan. And of course, you can count on Mog TV to be there. Isa sa pinakaabangan dito sa Mog TV ay ang pinamigay naming voucher codes. At this season, pinadali na namin ang mechanics para sa inyo. Just watch out for the voucher code of your favorite game and be the first to enter it into your account. So, wala nang texting, texting pa. If you're ready, here's the first batch. So stay tuned for more voucher codes later on in the show. And when we return, we've got a doozy. Mog TV's interview with the creator of Prince of Persia, the Jordan Method. The Internet Cafe Association of Marikina Inc. is proud to present Cyber Boost Marikina 2010. This two-day event is the first of its kind in the city, and it aims to enhance the awareness of Filipinos about information technology and related issues. Venue is set at CyberZone in SM Marikina, and proceeds from the event will benefit the Pamantasa ng Lunsod ng Marikina's IT facility and support for ICAM's free trainings and seminars for the community, slated for the whole of 2010. See you guys there!